Okay, working on the front brakes. Uh, first off, obviously you want to remove your wheel. Then I want to change these bolts here. They are the uh, carrier for the pads. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's uh, kind of new. So what I want to do is I want to break them free because they've been sitting there for a long time. So these one use Torx. The Torx I have is 40. The new one uh, are Allen keys driven. So I'm going to break the four of them here, here and on the other side. This would be the first step. Then I'm going to do the uh, remove the caliper. So to remove the front caliper, the way this works is you got to remove this bolt here and this bolt, same bolt but at the bottom, it's about here. So this would free your uh, caliper, it's a very long caliper, you want to make sure to have something to uh, put it on or either tie it up with uh, steel wire on the car spring with one of the holes, you don't want to let it hang by this uh, hydraulic hose, that would be very wrong. So this is the uh, main thing for now is to free this thing. When it's an old boat you want to make sure that your bit is uh, deeply in. If it's not, tap with a hammer to make it uh, go all the way uh, to the bottom of it. We're trying to take the boat out uh, from the rear. What should have happened, happened. The boat broke, so uh, I'm going to have to take it out. I'm going to show you how you do something like that. First step I'm going to do for now is uh, I'm gonna remove the caliper with the two hexagonal bolts that I show you, the big ones. Then I'm gonna remove the disc. So inserting your uh, hexagonal uh, socket if it doesn't fit right. Like now it's just like on the tip. So we have to put it deeper. So we go with the hammer. Then we'll be able to a bit of strength without stripping it so, and then you repeat for the lower one same thing might have to tap it a bit to take it out. The lower bolt's been removed. This is uh, kind of rusted a bit around, so it's not going to fall at all. Not, not nervous about it at all. When you work on the, your car, you want to put some NTCs on your boat. You don't want to end up with uh, rust. So that's what is in there. So now the uh, brakes are uh, they're dragging on the disc normally. So you want to kind of you want to pull them a bit. You give it a bit of force. That's. That's giving you room to take it off. So now I'm just gonna set a wire to hold this thing by a hole up to here. show you what I did. The little camera didn't really got it. So basically I took a steel wire and I passed it through the bolt hole that I just removed and I hook it up to the uh, coil spring so that the hose is not gonna carry the whole weight. So if you look at it this is the big hole that was holding it. If 
you wrap this around the car spring twist that a lot because it's heavy you don't want it to fall also you want to bring that thing toward the upside away from your eyes if ever you bend over there you don't want to poke that in your eyes so now it's going to be time to remove the disc in order to do so we have to remove this uh, hexagonal bolt here so same process hexagonal socket in if it doesn't tap all the way if it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the hole tap it with a hammer you got one shot of this one you don't want to mess it up else you're gonna have another bolt to work through so when you target these bolts these one you definitely want to put NTCs when you put them back on and also you don't want to over torque them it's uh, kind of pretty useless even though without these bolts you can make it okay so this is a six millimeter hexagonal socket set that in oh and then we have a situation if uh, you have a trouble with this and it's gonna keep spinning you can put I'm gonna try it I think I might be lucky maybe not I'm lucky because I put some NTCs on it you might not be as lucky as I am so the way you go through this is you uh, you put two uh, lug nuts here let's say two lug nut here and you set your hammer in between one way or the other to hold it in place and if it's too hard you are probably gonna break it anyways but uh, if you wanna try it you can you can always uh, have put the caliper back on and have somebody hold the brakes for you that might uh, do it so this is uh, not cooperating so we're gonna screw it back more than a turn you want this thing to be holding in place you just tap it a bit okay so now the disc has been removed okay so on the driver side now we can see the uh, brake pad wear sensor so you just follow that wire it goes right here on the back and then this is this one here so it's clipped here on the uh, strut front strut and it goes all the way back here then clip high above going in that box so first off I'm gonna open that box I'll connect the connect the sensor and then unclip it all around I don't like to cut it here in case the part I have is no good so here it is this is the connector right there that's the one that's clipped above the other one it's pretty uh, full of dust over there but uh, you can just scrub it with a screwdriver remove most of it if you want to to open the lid the cover have to uh, bend it a bit it's kind of falling into the uh, hose the hydraulic hose on the back so unconnect this thing is no big deal it's uh you take your time it's a rubber and it kind of gets a bit stuck because it's been there for a long time okay and to uh unplug this uh, sensor here you have to uh squeeze this thing here the white thing so when you squeeze it it frees it but now it's going to be a bit uh full of dirt Okay, so in order to be able to remove it, uh, you cannot clip it and rock it. So you kind of need to rock it a bit. And then you clip and you pull a bit and then you rock it and then you clip and pull and then it, it ends up working. So this uh, wire was uh, hooked up. It gets in here in the hole. In between these two bolts. So the wire goes up this one here. Hold on. It gets above here in between the pin and the frame of the caliper 
Uh, and you can understand when you look at the pad because it's uh, above the pin and the angle that you install that thing this is the way it is installed so now that uh, this has been removed and the disc has been removed on that side as well so first off I'm gonna push back the pistons then I'm gonna send those pins not to do the same thing as the other side and uh, have to drill them uh, to remove them because they're pretty stuck up there so the way to do so is you take a sandpaper like a sandpaper band that you wrap around and then you just pull like that all around try to just remove the dirt from the rust from there right and uh, that's the only difference from the other side really because uh, and I'm not gonna change the pins I'm just gonna send this down to remove the rust once this is done I'm gonna put some uh, never sees on these pins same thing as the other side clear the uh, friction uh, point where the surfaces of the pads are holding and uh, just rebuild this thing and the only difference is uh, the rear pad here so you got to clip the sensor on it and then get your wire through prior to clip the pad in place and once the caliper is going to be hooked back at the end then you just clip the uh, wear pad sensor the same way as it was before so plug it and then close the box and clip uh, both places and that should make it that should do it So you do the underside like that, then you flip it. I've been doing it since a little while already. Then you flip it, and then you try to check. You check on top, which is gonna need some. This one, well, they all need. So I'm gonna do a bit of the other side for all of them. I got piles of wood blocks that holds it. This is how I'm able to work like that. So if you have something, whatever, could be a foam, could be whatever, the the idea just so it doesn't hang by its hydraulic hose. So this is almost done. Once it's gonna be over, it's gonna be uh, time to put NTCs and then reassemble that thing. brush around this uh, this radius here and this diameter and also this flange once this is done you go put some NTCs you put some on the flange and on the radius as well Next time you have to remove those, you won't have to struggle or have a battle with it. is done now it's going to be time to put the disc see the tread on that bolt they're rusted so i'm going to brush them i'm going to take a vice grip and brush them with the brush either there or on a grinder they're both going to work
bit of NTCs on the treads. So we can put the disc. You want to clean the surface here because this one's going to be on the back. You won't be able to see it anymore. Then we put the disc in place. Then we're going to bolt it with its bolt. Just put on the tread. Try not to put elsewhere. NTCs, make sure you don't have in your finger on your finger prior to move brake parts around. You don't want to put that grease on the braking surfaces. Then it's time to put the disc in place. Know where your bolt is to hold it in place. So you line it up. With that you just torque but nothing crazy. Just a little, nothing crazy. Okay, so now the back is clean, so I'm gonna have to clean the to clean the front end of it with brake cleaner prior to install the whole thing. So the idea is you put a whole brake pad there. I know there are tickets because it was rusted with the disc. That's why I'm replacing all of that. So you just use a clamp, C-clamp and screw it back in place slowly. You might have to push a bit the others. You gotta go slowly because the others are gonna try to go out. So that's the best way to push the tree at the same time on one side. Once it's all the way in, you remove your clamp, put your pad on the other side. This side it's a bit easier because you can really be in the middle. The other one you cannot because of the hydraulic hose. sand down this surface to remove the dirt and rust with sandpaper there's a little bit on the side as well this is where the pads are sliding so on the four corners I got to do this here as well here and here and in the corner here a little. I use a small file to clean this up that works better so this surface this one a bit on the side a bit on the side same thing over here I put the four new bolts. I'm gonna have to torque them final when they're gonna be uh, when the caliper is gonna be hooked up final. Also clean this with sandpaper. These two surfaces here. So now it's time to put NTCs on these surface that I clean a bit on the side, on these pins, these sliding pins, these two pins, and these sliding surface. So once this is done, I'm going to hook up the pads and then put this back on. But prior to putting it back on, I need to clean this with brake cleaner, this uh, surface here. The other one on the back already been made. Uh, NTCs here on the pads, where the uh, brake pads going to slide. Four places on the pins, four pins. And on these uh, steel uh, plates where the pads are going to be uh, touching. So the way you do that is easy. You look at the previous one you just disassembled, which is right there. So you hook it up the same way. So you do that, you clip it here. Once this is clipped, this one goes the hose side. So what you do is, you're gonna hold this thing. So the NTCs is all over the place in there. So you're just gonna try to set your wire in between. Once you're in there, so you want to hook up maybe the wire side, the pin in the hole there. Okay, once it's in the pin, what you do is you line up this side. 
you're gonna have to push the pad to push the clip there in the middle then you're gonna be able to slide it in the, the other hole this is one this one is in place now so you do the same thing with the other one make sure not to you wipe your hands not to get too much uh, NTCs on your hands and this is done you assemble the other one put that in then follow the wire and you're done so best way is you insert one pin and then you push it down to push that uh, steel plate here you put it there get on top of it then push it and slide it now it's time to insert this pad this caliper so you push the pads over the disc slide that thing in place gonna put some NTCs on the treads So one in place, try not to push too much on the tip of the boat because that is getting close to the disc, so it should not touch it obviously, but so now I'm going to torque this. Then I'm gonna go torque these, once these are torqued, I'm gonna torque these good one that I replaced on both sides because torquing them it's hard when the caliper moves around. So this wire goes here, it's gotta be clipped with this uh, cap here. So this one goes here, it's gonna be clipped. So in fact the wire for the pad goes up front this hose and it goes in between the strut and on the back here, I don't know if you can see, this thing here, this is the bar st uh, stabilizer bar uh, linkage. So the wire got to go up between, in between these things, right? So, and then, so, sorry about that. So, and then you go on the back of the uh, linkage and you hook it up with the, uh, its wire here. So you gotta check how it connects. There's only one way you can connect that. See the shape, it's very unique. So you push that in there, click. Once it's done, you set it in the box. Then you wanna hook up that side on the clip here. You can close your box. Make sure this little wire here on that side that you're not gonna pinch it. It's got its slot to go. So as I said, the uh, box, you kind of, uh, the little plastic box for the wiring, you have to kind of uh, fold it so it can pass. Okay, the box, got, the box got clips. I don't know if you can see them here. So you, Close the box, you clip them. The box is closed. You don't hear it click, but it clicks. Then the wire has got to go. Oops. You get your wire and then you clip it here. Get you the light. So that part here, it's got to be clipped. Clip that. And the best way to do so here is you pull up that cap for the bleeder and it has like a little tab, rubber tab that goes around it. So you just clip it there with that and then you clip the whole thing together and that's, this is how it holds. Normally this is how it holds. So this is done. So remember, when you're done with a brake job, you want to pump the brake pedal first. So you pick up the loose because we push all the pistons all the way back. 
So by pumping the brakes two, three times, the, the pad's gonna move and it's gonna touch the disc and then you're gonna be fine. That's it.